Hi, and welcome to Teach Me JDE by Grant Thornton. Today, we will be demoing how to create a Cafe One page in JD Edwards. My name is Anthony Palmasano, and I'm an experienced manager at Grant Thornton. I specialize in automation, process improvement, and implementation. I am joined today by another experienced manager from Grant Thornton, Kit Land. Kit, please introduce yourself. Thanks, Anthony. Uh, my name is Kit Land. I'm an experienced manager at Grant Thornton, as Anthony said. I specialize in supply chain, transportation, and manufacturing implementations. Thank you. Uh, so before we get to the demo, I'd like to introduce you all to Cafe Ones. So what is a Cafe One? Uh, the easiest way to think about it for me has been it's a split screen between different JDE applications and forms or a JDE application and an external website. Uh, it, they're easy to implement and take less than five minutes. You'll see when we do our demo and they're versatile. You can use them on just about any JDE application. You can link it to static information to look up. You can link it to a separate application and form in JDE and allow you to enter information both on the primary process you're doing and the uh, application that you're displaying in the Cafe One. Uh, so how can Cafe One help you? Uh, they're really used uh, in a number of ways. Uh, first and foremost, they improve the GDE user experience. Uh, you can reduce the amount of clicks that folks are using. Um, it streamlines processes, uh, so we can dynamically return information uh, from your primary process uh, into the Cafe One and pull information back for your users so they don't have to leave the, the process they're working through and inquire on a separate application. Uh, it improves existing functionality. We can take websites, supplemental databases, and put them right on the page where they're used. Uh, orchestrations can also be written to use and update uh, data directly into the Cafe One. Uh, and then it reduces human error. Right, so we're able to take information directly from the Cafe One and copy it to the screen uh, that you're primarily using for your business process, reducing the need to uh, type and, and risk fat fingering something. Uh, there's no need to take additional notes or memorize stuff. Uh, the Cafe One can, as I mentioned before, dynamically display additional information from other applications in JDE or different external websites that can inform your primary business process. All right, so now we're going to talk through uh, what I essentially think of as a two-step process for creating a Cafe One. Uh, step one being adding the Cafe One, and then step two is setting it up. Uh, so for step one, to add a Cafe One to an existing application, you want to open the application that you are wanting to work with. Uh, you're going to go up to your username, click on it, get that drop down. Uh, and click Edit Form Layout. Uh, and you're going to click Add, uh, and then you're going to select the Enterprise One form and drag it and drop it to the location on the screen you want. Uh, when you drag and drop that, it can be moved and anchored to any edge of your screen, similar to how the carousel in JDE works. So if you prefer it to be across the bottom or one of the sides or the top, you can uh, anchor it there, and then you can resize it to be any size you need uh, for the data that you'll be pulling in. Step two, uh, you need to set up the Cafe One. So at this point, we've got a blank Cafe One showing up, and it's got a bunch of information on it. Uh, it's going to ask you to enter the application that you're looking for and select the form and version uh, that you're going to use. Um, it's very important that you get those correct, or your Cafe One's just not going to work right. Uh, on the description, you're going to be able to rename your Cafe One to display as anything you want. And then some of the optional things you can do, uh, you can link data to the Cafe One. Uh, if you leave it static, uh, you'll get a true picture in picture, right? So if you put an address book Cafe One next to uh, your sales or inquiry and it was static, you just have half your screen showing as your sales or inquiry and half your screen showing as the address book and you can type in either one and do whatever you need to in either one but it's a true picture in picture at that point if i find most of the value you get out of a cafe one tends to center around making it a uh, dynamic link and that's where you link key fields in your cafe one to 
key fields in your application. Uh, so in the example we're going to show you today, we'll link uh, lot location and some supplemental database fields uh, to a supplemental database we've set up to tag additional information during the purchase order receipt. So that instead of having to go into a, a supplemental database or a separate application and open up and add additional information to inform what's going on during our PO receipt, we'll actually be able to uh, dynamically enter new information, new records uh, as we go through that process. And then the other thing you can change is the content display. Typically, I leave it on as always, which means the, the cafe one's always displayed, uh, but you can do a conditional uh, display so that the cafe one content only shows up if certain fields or information on your primary application are um, filled out or present. All right, now we're going to go ahead and get into our demo. All right, uh, now I'll demo how to add and set up a cafe one. Uh, so we navigate to the application and form that we want to add the cafe one to. In this case, I'm going to add a supplemental database as part of our uh, PO receipts process. So I found my PO 5512, I'm going to drill into it. And now that I'm on the correct form, I want to go ahead and add the cafe one. So I click on my name, edit form layout, create new content button. And now I drag and drop this enterprise one form. And as I mentioned before, you can anchor that to any side of the screen. I'm going to add it to the right side and resize it. Uh, and now you have a blank cafe one. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is add the application number P0092. Uh, you can select your form. It has the correct form for us. Uh, select it already. We'll select our version. We're going to add one called lot attributes. And then we'll just change this description to read lot attributes. Now we're going to go ahead and link some of the data dynamically to this application. Uh, so type data, we're going to map that to um, LA. Submill database code, we're going to map to LN. We're going to map the business unit to the line detail branch plant. We're going to map the lot number to alpha one and location to alpha two. And now we've dynamically mapped this. We can save our cafe one. All right. And we're ready to use it. Uh, so anytime I come into the PO receipts program, I select my cafe one from my layout drop down. Uh, I select the row I'm on. I can add the location. We'll make this stock. You guys see that it's going to update over here with the stock location. Then we're going to add a lot serial number over here. It should update over here in our cafe one as well. We go. Uh, and now we should be able to save any of this supplemental data that we want. Just a carb score, uh, whether or not something's FESMA compliant, maybe a, a CI program, effective dates, whatever data you guys need for your, your cafe one. And then we click save. And that data has been saved in there. Uh, and we haven't had to leave the screen as a native part of our PO receipts process, we've now, without clicking off our PO receipt screen, added additional data to a supplemental database.
Uh, but you can use this cafe one, as I mentioned before, for any number of purposes. 